Ciao! Today we will have a walk in my garden. To be honest, I have to work in my garden. But the first thing I do every time I go outside is to just go around and greet all the plants and the trees and see how they're doing. And that's what we're gonna do right now. It's the beginning of March, so um, it's still winter officially. And um, the very first plant I'm greeting every time is this huge tree, which is a ginkgo. And uh, I purchased him 15 years ago and was at a construction market and he was standing just one meter before the trash bin and he was small and strange and weak and sick and now look at that and look what we have there Beautiful flowers. So nice. Here is still winter. Oh, the first signs of spring coming. The most beautiful thing you will see now. Look at this. This is an almond tree that was my farewell gift from my former department and it's always the very first plant to or tree to flower which brings me into panic because winter here often comes again in March or April so chances are always high that the flowers then get freezed but let's hope that this year it, it can have many 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 almonds and just right at his feet flowers signs are here spring is coming And this is my second favorite. I have lots of favorites. This is uh, Magnolia and I love them. I really, really love them. And I bought three trees in my life. And the second and the third one I got planted by a gardener because I wanted them to grow and be strong and all of them died. So at the discounter then there was an offer for five bucks for just a mini plant and I just put it there with another one and look how big it is now. And this is a walnut that I didn't plant, it just was born. So I leave it there because the whole area around my garden is just for nature to do whatever it wants. This also is now a tree. It was a little plant that was broken just behind the church. And it took it and put it in water and now look at this. This is the second magnolia. Also this one is beautiful. It has different flowers. They're a bit smaller and more white. Meanwhile the other one is more with a pink touch in it. This 
is the oak that I seeded when my daughter was born. So this is Vittoria's tree. And uh, we have some crocus and some primule, how they are called in Italian. I have to check all the English names. And this is a Siberian fig. I was not sure if figs would grow here in Switzerland. So I thought I take a Siberian one. It will be stronger. Here and there. This is Blackie, neighbor's dog. Oh, a stolen rose from the neighbor garden. They took down the house and are building a big house on it, so it would have been deleted, destroyed, and I stole it. And this is the son of the fig tree that was standing in my grandmother's chicken house, not house, area. And this is much bigger than the Siberian one because when we had a really very, very cold period with the 20 degrees below zero Celsius, both of them died. So I cut them both just at soil level. And this is much bigger than the Siberian one. So Italy, Siberia, one, zero. Look at the cat. There's a cat sleeping. Hi cat. More signs of spring. I already found my first violet two weeks ago. And we have um, a tradition in Italy when we found the very first violet. We touch our eyes with it and we say a short poem. Look at those crocus and those ones just under the poppies. And that's a witchcraft with the violet to protect our eyes. So, get ready to work. Yep. By the way, even in my winter garden, spring is coming, rosemary is blooming, and those cuties, those are ready to come. And look at that red flower, it's beautiful. They all are waiting to be brought outside again. But yeah, we'll have to wait a little bit. But first of all, we have to feed the birdies.
the material. And we'll take this bin here. Good, ready to go. So here we go. We try to take out all the the wheat. Careful because I have the violets in here, so what is this? Trying to take off the first row of grass around those stones because they are too quickly overgrown. And I like the stones here. Whenever I find the worm, I try to save it and put it back in there. But anyhow, this the whole content of the bin will land on the compost, so worms can work can work there. I think I'll raise the stones taking them out and putting some soil under them. They have sunk over the years. There are baby violets coming. There's a ladybug. one of this year. Hi. Hi little one. Did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. Okay. And there's another baby violet. Check if I have some earth. So I could lift the stones right now. Sorry for the church bells.
soil here is very heavy. So this is the result of today's work. I'm really pleased. Proud of myself. And I like it.